Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. That's not a queer, I'd say. There's lots of queer going on up there. We look at a lot of so-called mad scientists, but most of them come across as pretty balanced, so it's nice to find one who takes the role literally. What I want is a victim with a shattered heart. Now that is a mad scientist. <laughs> oh, you fool! You have failed me in the greatest moment of my life! <laughs> 1934's Maniac was a failure on release, so producer-director Dwayne Esper cunningly retitled it Sex Maniac. <laughs> and box office picked right up. Maybe we could sandwich him in. There's probably more nudity than you would expect for 1934. But I still feel like the title is stretching a point. The end will justify the means. Anyway. Tonight, my dear Maxwell, I'm ready to try my experiment on a human. Dr. Meyer Schultz is working on that default of all mad scientists, bringing the dead back to life. Trying to bring back life? It's not natural. With the help of washed up actor Maxwell. Once a ham, Always a ham. Isn't it great when the movie says what you're thinking? You, an actor? <laughs> they are immediately successful. Which has less of an impact on the plot than you might think. In fact, bringing the dead back to life is treated as pretty matter of fact. Well, they even brought a dead dog back to life once. Well, that sounds very remarkable to me. It may be. This guy's a reporter. A rat's eating cat. Well, that is news. Much better than this boring raising the dead nonsense. That I can replace with this speaking thing I have forced life back into. <laughs> Maxwell and Meyer Schultz fall out. Murder. And of my benefactor. Horrible. Maxwell then launches into a lengthy soliloquy. Why should the unconscious peace of the dead be disturbed? With superimposed images from the Italian silent film Machiste in Hell representing his descent into madness. How terrible! Then, using his gift for makeup, he takes on Meyer Schultz's identity. Not only do I look like Meyer Schultz, I am my Which is bad news for the doctor's existing patients. Stealing through my body! Creeping through my veins! Pouring in my blood! If it gets much worse, I might not be able to keep on describing it. I can't stand this torture! This torment! I bet none of this was in the script. He's just padding his part. What was in that Bible? It says, property of Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> the girl is the one who was resurrected earlier, and she and Mr. Buckley here now just run out of the movie, only appearing once more. Although she's now played by a body double willing to do partial nudity with different coloured hair. And this isn't the only time it happens. In one of a few scenes inspired by Edgar Allan Poe, Maxwell pops out a cat's eye using a stunt cat with a glass eye. And different coloured fur. Although what happens next is still revolting. The gleam is gone. <laughs> so far, none of this really ties together, and that doesn't change as Maxwell's estranged wife returns to him because... He's inherited a fortune. You say a fortune? Nothing lets you know that you're in the hands of a master storyteller more than the last-minute edition of an unforeshadowed inheritance. Am I right? 
leading to a cat fight. Not that one. As Maxwell sets his wife and Mrs. Buckley against each other. Doctor, what have you done? Mrs. Buckley, by the way, played by Phyllis Diller. Not that one, obviously, but who'd have thought it was a common name? Uncanny. Summing up Maniac isn't easy. It's a collection of nonsensical scenes, mostly out of focus and horrendously acted. Say, did you see the butte that come in today? Did I? That conspicuously failed to amount to a lucid plot. Of course not. But call your film Sex Maniac and really, none of that matters. Thanks for watching. This film was one of a bunch recommended to us by our Patreon supporter, The Blue Room, and was then voted on by you guys via Dark Corners Undead. So, thank you. What other bad B-movie Edgar Allan Poe adaptations are out there? Let us know in the comments below. I only wanted to amuse, to entertain.